My name is Tyler Babcock, and I'm a member of the Pennsylvania State Council, and I'm a 2024 ENA Election Board of Directors candidate. I currently live in Pittsburgh, and I've spent my entire life in Western PA. From an ENA perspective, I'm currently serving as the membership chairperson for my local chapter, and serve as the chairperson for the Emergency Department Leadership Committee. In the past, I've also served as the chairperson for the Lantern Award Committee, participated as a Lantern Award reviewer, and held various roles within local chapters and state councils, including my term as the 2020 Pennsylvania State Council President. Professionally, I began my career in emergency nursing in 2006 as I found a love for EMS. I transitioned into the hospital setting in 2008 as an emergency care technician and began my nursing journey in 2012 when I graduated with my BSN. Since then, I've worked as a staff nurse, a charge nurse, an assistant nurse manager, a manager, and a director of various CDs, ranging from a six-bed critical access hospital to a high-volume, level one academic medical center within an urban core. In my current role, I serve as the Director of Nursing in a 150-bed community hospital where I have direct oversight over all of inpatient nursing, including a 30-bed ED. So why am I seeking a position on the ENA Board of Directors? Nearly 10 years ago, I found a space where I truly felt like I belonged. I found a group of dedicated, passionate, and engaged individuals who leveraged their years of experience to advocate and advance emergency nursing. It felt like calm and it was the Pennsylvania State Council. Over the years, that same group pushed me to grow, sometimes outside of my comfort zone, and supported me in my development as both a nurse and a leader, and they were a critical component to the success that I am able to claim today. As I began to get involved at the national level, I found an even bigger group of dedicated, passionate, and engaged folk who supported me and pushed me to achieve even more. Now I've grown to a point where professionally, I've refined my ability to collaborate, make strategic decisions based on analyzing data, and use my ability to develop and maintain relationships as a way to advocate for the entirety of emergency nursing. Serving as a director would allow me to continue to leverage my skill set in a unique way to advocate on a larger scale, and above all else, it will better position me to serve and to give back a portion of what I've received from ENA to this point in my career. ENA's mission to advance excellence in emergency nursing does a great job of stating what today's nurse needs from the organization. What do I mean by that? We are living and working through what will likely be one of the most disruptive periods in global healthcare. As we recover from the pandemic, it's incredibly apparent that there is no returning to normal, and instead we are redefining all of healthcare, and emergency nursing is far from spared in that. ED nursing turnover reached unprecedented levels, the boarding crisis remains unsolved, and the resources and finances available to support ED nurses continue to dwindle to a sometimes catastrophic point where hospitals are forced to close and community resources dry up. As a result, today's nurse needs ENA to continue to advance excellence in emergency nursing. As the premier organization in emergency nursing, it is so important that we lead the organization in a way that we are able to drive the conversation in reimagining ED nursing care while continuing to advocate for best practice, gold standards, and systemic support. ENA's ability to continue to develop and refine its educational offerings will be integral to both onboarding new nurses and in supporting the advanced skill sets of the experienced. Innovative solutions like the Emergency Nursing Residency Program will also continue to be integral to supporting the profession. Today's nurses need education. ENA's wealth of knowledge, resources, and ability to tap into years of experience and expertise will also be critical to providing clinical research evidence-based practice, and clinical practice guidelines to serve as the benchmark for those providing care in the emergency setting to turn to when they need help. Today's nurses need to know how the ENA can help them in their everyday practice and where to turn to support the first time they ask. Today's nurses need an adjunct to clinical experience. Overall, today's nurse really needs ENA to be a staunch advocate, a clinical expert, and a pillar of support.